Hi everyone, my name is Kira and today I'm going to be making a whole bunch of cool projects with the Vivor heat press here. I know this is different from my normal chainsaw carving videos, art videos, or woodworking videos, but this is something that I also like to do in my free time. You guys have seen the vault suit that is from iron on vinyl and a heat press. Now I didn't have this heat press in particular, which would have been really nice. I did the whole thing with a, a little bitty iron that I have. So get ready for some cool outfits from this because this is going to open up the possibilities. So I will have an affiliate link in the description below if you guys want to check one out and they're very affordable and it does come with a whole bunch of tools which I'll show you and I will have some pro tips along the way so you guys don't have to learn everything from scratch like I did oh side note don't mind my hands in this video they're covered in Gorilla Glue I'm not sorry I'm an artist that's a shirt I need to make <laughs> I think I've said my piece let's make some stuff so the best part about this heat press is that it comes with a whole bunch of different components so you can make a whole bunch of different kinds of stuff it comes with an aluminum water bottle press, a 9 ounce mug press, an 11 ounce mug press, and a 12 ounce angled side mug press. It also comes with a hat press. These foam things here are for pressing plates, so if that's something you're interested in, it comes with that as well. And the best part about it is it comes with this big flat clam press. So starting out, you put the handle on, make sure you put it on tight. That's one of my pro tips. If it's not tight, it's going to make a clunking sound when you're using it. So make sure you put it on nice and tight. Starting out with the flat press, we're going to make some shirts. I've got my chainsaw girl shirt. This is my logo. You see it in my videos once in a while, and I'm super excited to have it as a t-shirt. I've been waiting for a long time to be able to make one of these shirts, so this is really cool. So this red one was a t-shirt I got for a dollar at Walmart and I decided to make it into a Nuka-Cola shirt because, you know, I'm doing a Fallout series. We gotta have some Fallout stuff. And of course, Futurama is also one of my favorite TV shows, so we had to have a Professor Farnsworth shirt to go with the collection as well. And just trying out different materials because I haven't done too much of this. I tried an apron here. I did Nuka-Cola, of course, because my kitchen and my shop is going to be all Fallout soon. You'll see in some cool videos coming up. And also South Park. Who doesn't love South Park? South Park is one of my favorite TV shows and this is one of the best quotes from the show. If you guys have seen it, you know. And this is definitely my favorite. So here we are switching from the flat press to a mug press. It does take about two or three minutes because you have to unscrew quite a few things, but it's all about convenience. It's nice that you have so many presses in one and you can just change them out and not take up so much space with so many different pieces of equipment. So here I'm making a couple mugs. I make a South Park mug, a Maximum Effort Deadpool mug, and also a Planet Express mug. Also, it is sprocket approved and that's all that matters, right? Of course, I have to try a few components in this. There's so many different components, I didn't get to try them all for this video, but I did switch to the hat press. This is something I did struggle a little more with this than the other ones because my hats had creases in the middle. I can't stress enough, buy hats without creases in the middle. It makes it so much easier. The reason you see me put a tank top on here is because it helped squish into the hat so that it didn't create a seam in my vinyl. That's why you see my tank top chilling under the hat in each press. They turned out cute. I'm not sure what kind of hats I'll be making in the future, but at least I have the option. It's nice that it's there. So this Planet Express thing printed out really big. It was originally the one I printed out for the mug you saw earlier. It printed out massive and I decided to save it. I had this scrap piece of wood. I'm not sure what I'd use this application for, but at least I know it's there for future projects. You never know what you're gonna wanna make next. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope I inspired you to try something new. Kind of different from what I normally do, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Check out the Vivor heat press down in the links below. Let me know what you wanna see me make because I will be incorporating this into future videos, mostly probably for my special outfits that I make for carving videos. But if you wanna see something particular out of the ordinary, totally leave it in the comments below and I will maybe attempt it. Maybe I will feature it in a video, who knows? Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, it helps out my channel and I hope I will see you guys guys in the next one. Bye-bye.